Yo, hey guys, it's Game Boy Luke here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, I basically showed you guys that I'd done a bunch of grinding between episodes 26 and 27, I believe. Um, and we also got given the uh, little Rockruff boy from Mystery Gift, so I do have that on the team now. And as you can see, I'm wearing the same clothes. It's literally directly after the previous video, but the time has changed. Now, I decided for the, just for the sake of the series, because I do want to get some videos recorded today, um, that I would go ahead and do myself the favor and change the time, because I did Google, and apparently uh, changing the time does in fact work when changing uh, Rockruff's form, or evolving Rockruff rather, so... Dude, I swear there are nothing but Mudbray on this, on this route. It's a little bit nuts. In all honesty, so what we're gonna do is we're, just, we're gonna keep knocking out wild, wild Pokemon, any like trainers we bump into. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna give them the old one-two punch, if you know what I'm saying, so that we can uh, move on and evolve this little little guy and, uh, and uh, continue to train him, honestly. Um, I, I, I really want to be like at least five levels away, right, from everybody in this game. Like in terms, of, at all points, I want to be five levels higher than the strongest trainer because this game, it's not easy. I will continue to say that over and over and over again. This game is not easy in the slightest. We've had some really, really big problems with this game. Like some really, really close calls. Uh, and we've also been very, very lucky, especially with the totem battles. I've been watching other people's Let's Plays and they're getting blown back from these totem battles. And we've been doing the most to stay afloat, so, you know, and it wasn't even a Tone Pokemon that ruined us, it was, it was, it was Guzma. That's what hurts the most, well, Guzma still had a pretty, like, scary team, so. I want to make sure that we are ahead. Okay, so, Starmie. Let's see, let's go with Kipora, Kipora can literally handle this. I don't know if he'll level up in one go here, I think I might need to, just a little bit more experience after this. And now it's raining on this, uh... On this route too. It's all orange and stuff though, so it's perfect. It's the perfect scenario for... It's got Swift Swim. The perfect scenario for... Rockruff to evolve in. Bam. This is UI takes lives. Like, how much experience is uh, Rockruff getting for that? For being the star me. No, you're good. Don't So... It did work. Yeah, it worked. I obviously wouldn't recommend changing your time in like in the game because it's kind of like I guess I guess you can, but like I don't know. It, I, I guess it takes the fun out of it. And the only reason I did it is because I'm trying to record as much as I can today. Look at his look at his big green. That's actually fudge. That is actually fudge. That's actually fudge. It's the only reason I like this guy. The strange form is a result of it evolving at dusk. It's very rare in Alola. It's not really uh, a result of it evolving at dusk, though, is it? Because regular don't regular uh, Rockruff don't evolve into this thing. What's left for Rash? I mean, what are we rocking with? What moves do we have? Rock team by... No, I'm good. We don't need it. The Thrash sucks. Not worth. What's Lem Roar? Keep old moves. We just, we just tried to Lem Roar. Is that it? Alright, should we check? I, I don't think I ever got the opportunity to check what nature it is. It's a female, damn it. Um, it's neutral nature. Okay, we'll take that. And it has tough claws too. It's, it's cry is different. It's cry is a little bit different too. What is this? It becomes love for Pokemon. Interesting. Okay, cool. So we have Fudge the Lycan Rock now, which I heavily mess with, by the way. Oh wait, hold on, there's a gra- wait, there's an area down here called the Secluded Shore. You can actually fish down here. Oh, it's Samson. Hello! Hello! Oh, wonderful! Oh, why, oh, Lukey, we can't link it to another, don't we? When I'm stuck feeling- wait, when I'm feeling stuck with my research into regional variants and total Pokemon, that's when I come out of the- come out for a spot of Mantine surfing. It's the secret of- uh, to feeling all recharged. Oh, it does get my go-go to that. I can't seem to ever beat that kimono clad cad when it comes to the ranking board. 
Anyway, you keep collecting those totem stickers and enjoy your island challenger. I'll be around here, here, beach on the color island if you ever need me. Interesting. So wait, I don't know how many beach points I have. All right, it was popping. What are you selling? What moves do you teach here? Iron Head, let's go. Aqua Tail, Pain Split Tail with Thunder Punch, Endeavor Focus Punch, Icy Wind, Zen Headbutt, Seed Bomb, Laser Focus, Drill Run, Ice Punch. This beach is on, on some shit right now. What the hell, dude, that's crazy. This place gives you some sick moves. I might have to grind some Mantine Surf in between episodes, honestly, and beat some high scores, you feel? Like, I'm super, super- what's this? Oh, it's another one of those letters, but you never found the one for the for other, paper, other person. To others reading this letter, I would be very grateful if you could deliver this letter to Nainoa, a trainer on Ula Ula Island of uh, Alola. He should be in Mali City's Cape. And if you could challenge him to a Pokemon battle, you'd be doing me a favor. I could go myself, but I figured you could get him warmed up for me. Just kidding, of course. Okay. That's, that's, that's doable, I suppose. Alright. Okay, so this 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 island teaches some banger moves. Noted. Duly noted. We'll definitely come back here. This is Route 13. Isn't this where we bump into... Whoa, Lukey! Phew, that Togem Togemaru was strong, but I managed to get through his trial too. Maybe even managed to get a bit stronger, huh? I heard from Sophie how you just breeze through that trial yourself, Lukey. You're something else. I know, you should take this. Thanks, man. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? Angst. Ah, no, he's back! Listen, Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Cosmog. Do you two know anything? Oh, uh, what? N not that we tell you! So you do know something. Look, Cosmog isn't even a strong Pokemon, but has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for, uh, for Alola Angst. A disaster? Like, a, a, a real disaster? Then what are we supposed to do about it? Protect it. If you do anything, know anything about Cosmog, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know I might be working for Team Skull right now, but you, uh, so you may not trust me or care, but I'm going to tell you this just once. You have to protect Cosmog, no matter what. I still don't understand how Team Skull found out about Cosmog in the first place. Uh, what do you mean? No matter what? Are you just gonna leave us hanging? Uh, Lukey, if they're really looking for Cosmog, then is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really ask to get what's going on, but we've got to keep them both safe, right? Then I know what I'm gonna do. Take on this next trial to, to train with my partner. Look, out, uh, look. I know Guzzle was saying all those things, but I really want to complete my island challenge and help people learn about Pokemon battling. And I don't know, I've got to make sure I really get what my partner's feeling, too. You're a good kid, Hal. You're annoying, but you're a good kid. What's poppin'? Can I have one room, please? Uh, that Pokemon is the next- I've been waiting for his training forever. Oh, Isn't it the, uh, Stuffle? I think it's the Stuffle, right? Yeah. Oh, uh -huh. Stuffle looks lonely and sad. That's rough, dude. It's like that Charmander thing all over again. Is that freaking Young Goose? Wait, what is this? Oh, it's his little sleepy boy! He looks so happy when he's sleeping. I just want to cuddle up and go to sleep too. Oh, he's so cute. He's, I, I don't know what, what is it is. It was a, a curled up rock ruff like, snoozing. That's so cute. And Moonstone. Interesting. He's dog trio. Trio, trio, trio. Alright, so I think... Because we don't ever actually go into the Ruins of Abundance in the original Sun and Moon, I don't think. There's no reason for us to. What's up? You say fisherman, but after I fished up a surfboard one day, I decided to become a surfer instead. Okay. Let's fish here. Let's see, what, let's see what our first encounter in the, uh... Is this the Route 13 area? There's Haina Desert and then there's the Ruins of Abundance, so... Magic up. That's cool. That's what I wanted before when I got Remoraid, because I wanted Gyarados really bad, but... Hell yeah. Level 12. Uh, I can probably just bite this thing and not kill it, but I think I'd probably be better off just quick balling it. And honestly, this is my backup. This is my go-to. As soon as artillery, like, dies, knock on wood. 
Uh, that's my go-to. Uh, this Magikarp is my go-to uh, for saving my my dumb ass. So. Da -da 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 -da. Hey. Okay. 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 Magikarp. Now I think I call my. This doesn't. This nickname doesn't really make sense because I think I was thinking of a different animal slash uh, mythical creature when I named my Gyarados as this, but it's Komodo. Komodo, the Gyarados, sent to a box. When the time comes, Magikarp, you will be called upon. You found a God spec. Yeah, super useful. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's, let's have a little bit of exploration. Let's, let's, let's check out what's inside these, uh, caravans, trailers, what do we ever want to call them? Team Skull are in here. Team Skull was born out of this old group that once formed around one of the old kahunas, but the whole thing fell apart after they got smacked down by the wrath of the Tapu. You know you can't, wait, you know, you can't know who will get named a kahuna or not young until they are chosen. Even humans sometimes have to live at the whim of some cap capricious Pokemon. What are Team Skull doing in the, these Are you okay? Well, you got a proper short stack? I can stand guard even when I'm squatting. Stand guard of what? <laughs> this isn't a Team Skull guy. Okay? He's just a regular. But what, what the heck do you think you're doing, huh? Is someone saying you come in here? No, no, I'm doing anything in here. I have nothing. You want to scrap? I'm out of here. That's what I thought, punk. Phew. I ain't got no business. These will get lost already. Disappear. It does look like a different place every day because the winds are blah, 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 blah. Maybe Tapu Bulu wants to be alone. Alright, well, I'll, I'll leave you alone then. I have no idea what you're doing. Just stood there in your fucking high tops, but whatever. In a desert. So, can I go this way? Okay, so I can't go this way yet. Okay. That's fine. I guess we come back here afterwards, because I know Lily said she wanted to go to the Ruins of Abundance. So, oh, the Tapu Village. Hello. You, whoa, look, Luki, it seems like we're almost at the Aether House, huh? Where the captain, wait, wait where the, isn't that where the captain's supposed to be? So this is what, this, that way lies Mount Lanakila, huh? I guess they're really making a Pokemon League up there on the peak. The professor told me that the Pokemon Leagues in other regions have four crazy strong trainers in, the, in them that they call the Elite Four. The Elite Four uh, and our island Kahunas, I wonder, and our island Kahunas, I wonder which ones are stronger. I'm pretty sure my grants are the strongest, but I can't wait to find out for sure. Hey, Alola! And Alola to you, Luki and Hal. So, this is Tapu Village. We must learn all we can about this place. It seems there are many stories in its past, but once long ago, the Blinding One battled against the Tapu in this spot. It's thought the power that came pouring out of the Ultra Wormhole at that time may be the source of Z-Move's power. Yes, the light that the Blinding One... I mean, the light that Akrozma, I knew it, can wield. Our ancestors were greedy, though. They sought to control all of Necrozma's light. They hurt Necrozma. They left it incomplete, and in such a state, it went mad with fury. And so our light was stolen by Necrozma. Our world is at peace now, thanks to the Megalo Tower, which keeps the Blinding One contained. But we believe the tower is reaching its limit, and the Blinding One, Necrozma, hungers for light. The Blinding One may run wild in its fury, but it did also give us light once. So we would like to help restore the Blinding One to its true form, but we do not have the slightest idea of how we can do that. If you learn anything that you think might help, will you share it with us? After all, you are more, far more familiar with the Z-Moves than we are. Yo, I don't really get what that was all about, but it seems like Ultra Recon Squad people are pretty a hopeless spot, huh? I just wish everybody could be happy and find something to smile, smile about. Even that Necrozma. Right, Luki? Mmm. Mmm. Maybe that's why Necrozma, like, when he's, like, in that shell form, he, he's doing that thing with his head, he's, like, shaking around because he, he hungers for light, but he can't do it right now or something? I don't know, that's... That's the, that's the theory. I see you have 101 battles against other trainers. Oh, -ho! you can take advantage of this Pokemon ability to battle too. Now, I wonder if you can seize victory even from me. I will. Who is this guy? Who is this person? Angus? Uh-oh. He's got a Shell gone. 
Alright, what level is it? This will allow me to judge. Hello, look at my orange doggo. Yo, he actually looks like fudge. It's so cute. He's level 36. See, this is what I'm talking about. I said I want to be five levels higher than everybody. Look, that's what that level of my Pokemon was before I grinded. Like, I... It's nuts. It's honestly nuts. The levels are creeping up so fast. Brick Break. Are you kidding me? You taught your Shogun Brick Break. Alright, look. Hold this for me. Hold this for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodbye, sir. Da -da -da -da. That's right, Ragnaros. I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm proud of you. Sligu. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. I know you have really good special defense, but still, Ice Beam should pop you. Oh my god, it didn't. <gasps> he turned it off! He has TM moves. I wish I had Thunderbolt. <laughs> like, honestly, not something I saw coming. There's another one. Jesus Christ. All right, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to hit you with this one real quick. Sorry, buddy. I don't think you have great physical defense. I should finish. Yeah, okay. All right, Slagu. Jesus Christ. What's next? Last Pokemon is a Gabby. I had a funny feeling he was bringing out another... Um, Pseudo-legendary baby. Do you reckon I can go to Mo? I think Mo can handle it, but what if he has Earthquake? Let's just go to Floof. Floof is the safe option. I honestly need to teach this thing facade too, just in case I get poisoned or burned or whatever. Oh, it's gonna have rough skin too, I think, maybe. I don't know. I should just Z move it, honestly. Yep, there's the rough skin. Ouch, 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 ouch. It has Earthquake. I knew it! I freaking called it. Luckily, we have our fur coat to, to back us up here. But that, I don't think Espeon would have survived that. Not in the slightest. Jesus. Damn, this guy was, this guy was, this was, this guy was real. This guy was a real threat. Dunzo. I didn't realize that there was such a big difference between us and in how many trainers we've battled. Yeah. Yeah. Everything will work out if you choose to keep fighting for victory. Oh, and speaking of choice, let me give you a choice specs. Oh. Thank you. Uh. Uh. I thought I lost artillery then. Luckily, Sligu doesn't have like crazy good special special attack, so we lived just barely. Goodness me. All right, to the Aether House. Let's see what's popping over here. What's going on, my party people? I just realized why well, we need to fly and see um. Uh, visit that Vulpix. I want to visit that Vulpix soon. Alright, is this a new area? This is a Tapu Village. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm interested to see what we can catch here. Did I catch a young goose? Have I caught a young goose? I feel like I have. I'll just catch this Pokemon. And if I already have Young Goose, I'll release it and we'll get another one. But I'm pretty sure I... I don't remember. Holy shit. Okay. Alright, Kipora. Back to you, buddy. Look how strong these wild Pokemon are. This is what terrifies me about this game. And he's calling for help. I don't know if I can be bothered. If you successfully call in someone... Alright. So that's fine. Alright, gun shoes. Come here. Come here. Just stay in the ball. Make this thing make this easy for me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What I wanna see what happens when it when it registers to the Pokedex. Do I already have young goose? No. So I have to, yeah, okay. This was my actual first encounter. Alright, I know what I'm naming this thing. A 
I think that's right. <laughs> Alright. Moving on. What area is this? This is Route 15, so this is a new road in its uh, own right as well. Yo, this is this is this different? This looks different. Wait up, Lukey! So this is the Aether found uh Aether House, huh? Straight out! This meets battle! <laughs> what why? We'll protect our home when Ace roll us away! I hate battling these kids because they have Vikavolt shirts on. That's what I wanted on my team. Hello. What level is it? Level 32. We're still not quite high enough level to start punching people in the nose with you yet. Um, I guess I can just go to Cape Horror. I think, I think Lycanroc can get maybe Iron Head. It's more or less the move that I was thinking about, so... If, between episodes, what I might do is I'll do some Mantine Surfing. Get some battle points, also increase my high scores. I'm hella down to try and get him on Iron Head. I might try and get myself like 50 beach points or something just in case I want to splash out. Because I don't know if they have any Pokemon that stood up yet. But like the punching moves would be really, really good too. I tried really hard. I am a kid, you know. Whew. So I won. Yeah. So why is this little fellow still gnawing on me? I'm back, everybody! Haha! -ha. I forgot what voice I gave her. Uh, uh, what was she? I feel like she had quite a high-pitched voice. Only to annoy them. Haha! -ha. Looks like I finished on my shopping spree right on time! You've already met everyone? It's so annoying on his leg. Uh, oh yeah, we met all right. In, in battle anyway. But uh, hey, where's Lily? I left her with Harpool. They should be coming soon. So why don't we get these trials done first? You didn't know I'm the captain, right? I'm just like, yep, I knew this. I've been, I've, done, I've been doing this before, I understand. Alright. My trial takes place in the abandoned site where the supermarket used to be. When you want to go, I'll meet you out front of the Aether House to show you the way. Interesting. So, are you just going to spawn outside? <gasps> what do you think you're... Uh, what do you think you're doing? Stop. Stop it right now. For real, girl, your back was moving right in front of my eyes and I'm supposed to just ignore that? If you got some rare Pokemon in there, I'm gonna have to take it and make some cash. Even if it's not that rare Pokemon, I feel like I can still get paid, yo. Alright, that's it. Okay. Oh, so we following that script, are we? You're trying to dash forward and save the girl, huh? I'm not gonna let you be the hero in this scene. Did that music change? Oh, look at that! Look at that background. That's so cool. All right, Drowsy. Is it time for Fudge to show off his moves? I'm a few levels lower than you, but I'm confident. Let's go. Blitz him. Oofed. Let's go, Fudge. Let's go, Fudge. Perfect. Perfect. Da 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 da. Okay, poor girl, level 42. The, this result? What's up with that? <laughs> when I saw that adorable drowsy, that was enough for me. Later. I swear Plumeria was here last time. Phew, thank you, Lukey. I, I just wanted to go for a stroll on my own to see what it must be feel, must feel like to be a trainer. So happy when I went our separate ways, but then Nebby tried to get out of my bag. Didn't you? Go on, you little troublemaker. You better thank Lukey, too. Oh, and um, when I was out shopping, I kept thinking about how I wanted to some, I wanted to be some help to you during your island challenge, and then I saw these. Don't give me revives. Ooh, she knows my favorite Pokeball. Thank you. I bought them without even thinking. Oh, Lily! What's the matter? You look all worn out. Do you want to rest at the Aether House for a while? Oh, Acerola, yes, thank you. I think I would, I will take you up on that. And you, Lukey, we can reach my trial site from Tapu Village. Come on, follow me. Okay, okay, all right. She's skirt skirting off, doing her own thing. All right, so the next trial we have to do is the Mimikyu one. Um, 
And what I might do is I said, as I said, I'm gonna do some man mantine surfing. Uh, and now that I have Lycan Rock, I'm tempted to level up everybody again to level like 43 or something because again, they are the levels are creeping up on us, and I'm really scared about doing this trial. I might just get I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll just get Lycan Rock to level 41. I think that I think that should be okay. Just so that he's on par with the rest of the team. Uh, I'll do some Lycan Rock. I'll do some like um Mantine surfing. Um, and hope that that will help us. No one has stood up. I don't- I mean, Chief can get Thunder Punch, I think. I don't know if his physical attack's better than his special. His special attack's way higher, but I mean, coverage on the physical side wouldn't be- You know, wouldn't go and miss. I can get rid of Confuse Ray for like, Ice Punch or something, if he can- if he can learn that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this episode off here a little bit shorter than normal. Um, in the next episode, I'll be leveling up my team. Uh, or getting Lycan Rock up, rather. And then heading to Ace Roller's Trial and doing that. And seeing where that goes, um, of course, I'll also be going to the Mantine Surf Place to get some new moves. Um, but yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like right down below. It's greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time.